Go ahead and woohoo. Oh my gosh, are you guys? Okay, they're done. But they're her mother just walked in. That's fine. Okay. Also, Arya is riding a bike. You're not supposed to be out. Arya, you're supposed to be grounded and not here. And also, why is Aisha here? Go home. Hey rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the royal family as you can tell we are in a bit of a different space so we might end up being here for a while i'm not 100 percent sure yet i would like to make the background a little bit prettier for you guys because i don't have my backdrop here but i don't know if that's going to be possible but we'll just see i know i warned you guys a few episodes that will probably be relocating but yeah just wanted to let you know but in today's video we have a lot of fun stuff planned so we are first going to be making amira and jabari have another baby so they're gonna get pregnant because Alice May is going to be turning into a child fairly soon probably in about two episodes I would say would be her birthday party so she still has a few days left but I did say that when she was close to being a child then we would have them try for another baby so we're gonna do that in this episode and we're gonna do some other fun stuff too but we're I'll just talk about it and explain it while they are trying for a baby just to like you know kill time a little bit Okay, so we're gonna have them try for a baby with Prince Jabari. It's so weird having an empty palace. It's just not as full as it usually is. I cannot remember the last time we just had three people in this palace, but we will be having, I'm sure a new royal advisor soon. I'd like to have some for the other kingdoms too, but I just feel like that's so many to keep track of. So I'm not hundred percent sure yet, but I'd like to have a role in Windenburg for that at least just cause we're here so often. Oh, and then we also, so there's a few things that happen cause I've mentioned that I started streaming on Twitch. I should be getting a, another channel up soon where I can upload my Twitch streams or you guys can watch the ones on my Twitch right now. And my Twitch ID is in the description below. But I'm also probably gonna be streaming like every day this week just because to be an affiliate, I have to stream for seven days. So I probably won't always stream that much. It'll probably be like three days a week maybe or four. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that so you can come check that out. But we did a portrait of Jabari during the stream. So that is here now. And then a few Few other things happen too that I will explain a little bit later but yeah so they're trying for a baby right now and then also in this episode we are going to have Cornelius has invited Ellis over for dinner with his family so we're gonna do that in this episode and then we're also gonna do a double date with Samaria, Makana, Bellatrix, and Kimberly and I think that'll be really cute and super fun because we haven't actually seen them all go on an official date like we saw Kimberly and Makana hang out but it wasn't technically an official date okay so now now, Amira, I'm gonna have you see if you are pregnant. Where's the toilet? Oh, it's like in the very center of this. Okay, take pregnancy test. I'm really excited for them to have another baby, you guys. I do, she's already walking like she's pregnant, I think. But I do already have a name picked out for if it's a boy or a girl. Oh yeah, she's eating for two, you guys. Amira's pregnant. They're gonna have another baby. Oh, I'm so, so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, we haven't had a baby in a really long time. And she's pregnant and she's telling Jabari about it now. And he's excited? Yes, yes, he should be excited. Jabari, you should be excited for another child. Amira already looks so pregnant. Oh my gosh, she already looks so pregnant, you guys. Okay, so yeah, that, I mean, that's it. That's all we have to do here. And then we're gonna go to the Willow Creek Palace. But then also some other things that had happened in the streams, in the first stream that I did a few days ago, uh, it was about time for Queen Leilana's grandmother to pass away. She still had like 600 days left to live. Like it was insane. And she probably like in human terms, if we were thinking, she's probably around a hundred or so. So we were like, you know what? It's peaceful, it's fine. She's lived a very long, healthy life. She's a beautiful family, but like all her children passed away before she did. So we were like, maybe it's time. As far as I know, Queen Lindsay is still alive. I did get a question about her but Queen Nina died that didn't happen in the stream we just realized that in the stream so that's really sad and she oh I was like I was wondering when it was gonna be like I feel like Queen Lindsay should be passing away soon too and then another thing is that we aged up Prince Kaleo so that is Leilana and Dean's youngest son so he was a toddler so we aged him up to a child we'll get to see him when we go to the Sulani household but I haven't like we haven't given him a makeover yet we haven't given him his clothes and everything that's what we were gonna do in the stream that I'm doing today Day, but as this video comes out that will have already passed so yeah that's just like a few updates all right so it is almost dinner time and basically what has happened is we've mentioned before that 
Cornelius has been doing better since he's been around Ellis and learning just like he's just working more. He usually goes there in the mornings to help work on the farm. And him and Ellis have become a little bit closer and are starting to be good friends. There's like a slight romantic interest there going on. So we'll have to see like whose side that is from or if either of them are even realizing that yet. But basically, so this morning, Cornelius, he was working on the farm with Ellis and he realized that Ellis just, oh, and he's actually like happy now. He's not feeling it. He's talking to his sisters. That's surprising. You know what? I'm gonna have Cornelius help actually clean up some things so that he's just being a little bit more responsible. But he's realized that Ellis doesn't really eat well or like nice meals or anything like that because Ellis, so he works on the farm. Basically his compensation is being able to live on the farm in, it's a pretty nice house. It's small, but it's a pretty nice house. It's like a little farmhouse and that covers that and then it covers some of his food but then Ellis also has to pay for his mother hospital bills because if you remember a few episodes ago I mentioned his backstory and just that his mother had passed away fairly recently and then he got offered this job to work for the Willow Creek farm so he's still paying his mother's hospital bills too so he just doesn't have that much money for like a good meal I mean he's really just eating like bread and soup and like very basic stuff so Cornelius learned that about him today and was like well maybe do you want to come over for dinner with my family tonight? Like we can give you a good meal. I feel like Ellis might've been a little bit hesitant at first. Not that he's against royals or anything, but he's just never had a want or need for like a luxury lifestyle or anything like that. And I kind of feel like it's one of those things where he just doesn't know if he's going to fit in or anything. So I feel like he's a little bit nervous, but he did say yes. I mean, he doesn't want to be rude. And then I feel like as soon as Cornelius got home, he just like kind of passed by his parents and was like, like Ellis is coming over for dinner tonight and ran up to his room and his parents are like, wait, what? So we did kind of spring it on them, but at least he warned them. Oh, he's hugging his sister, you guys. Wait, hold on. I've never actually seen Cornelius like hug any of his sisters. This is Elena. All right, but I am going to invite Alice over. So we're going to plan a social event. Also, my social events are fixed, you guys. I had mentioned that people just weren't really showing up to the parties. I don't know what mod exactly it was. I had removed and updated MC Command Center, and then I had removed some of the Zerbu mods, the ones that are needed for like the get to school mod and that kind of stuff. So I removed that and it seems to work fine. So I'm happy to have big parties again. I am so, so excited. Okay, we're gonna have a dinner party and invite over just Ellis. I do feel like her Rin and Louie, their relationship has gotten a lot better because there's so much less stress from, oh no, Juliet, why are you itchy? Oh no, I thought she was sick, but she's not. Okay, but yeah, there's just so much less stress from Cornelius. So I feel like their marriage has gotten a lot better, which makes me really happy because they were really cute. I know we don't get to spend too much time with them and I do want to spend more time with them. I don't think Cornelius needs to wear this, by the way. I think this might be just a little bit too fancy for one person coming over, but I do think that his parents are very impressed that that Cornelius is actually being considerate. Like even though they like that he sprung it on them, I feel like Louis might've been like, wait, hold on. You can't just invite someone over like that. Like what if we had something going on? And then Corinne was like, he just invited someone over to be considerate because I feel like she might've gone into his room to talk to him after he was like, Ellis is coming over and he kind of just explained things. And there is Ellis, you guys, Ellis is here. Oh, he's coming to say hi. He's coming to say hi. I'm not doing, oh, are they? Okay, they're doing a high five. Interesting, okay. I was just very curious what their greeting would be. He's feeling very flirty. So that's a thing. He's feeling flirty, you guys. Maybe Ellis is realize, like he realizes his crush on Cornelius just a little bit. But I do think he does think Cornelius is a little bit spoiled. It took a while for them to warm up to each other. I think he's just realizing that Cornelius just has a lot going on with him. But I am going to have King Louis. So he already knows Ellis, but we're gonna thank him for coming. He's the one who hired Ellis. And then Corinne has not met him yet. So I'm going to have her do a friendly introduction. And then same thing with all the sisters too. We need to have them do a friendly introduction. We can do a little royal greeting and see how they all get along with him. But yeah, I do think that Corinne and Louis are realizing just that Cornelius has been, is Cornelius cooking? There's already plenty of food. Did he want to contribute something? Wait, there's so much food in here on the floor. Why is, why is this happening? Oh my gosh, maybe his parents were like, you can't just invite someone over like that. And he's like, fine, I'll make something too. So there's extra food. And he made, he made eggs and toast. That's fine, Cornelius. You've never cooked before. I feel like that's a pretty good start. 
shirt. We'll put this on the table for you. That's so cute. All right, but Ellis is talking to Genevieve and they seem to be getting along pretty well. So let's just call everyone to the meal and have people actually sit down. This is actually the first, wait, Cornelius, no, come sit here. You should come sit across from Ellis. Or no, actually that's where your mother should sit. You should sit next to Ellis. Okay, now they're all sitting. I love when I get them to sit where I want them to. This is great. And Cornelius is happy, you guys. He's happy. Wait, Juliet, you're not excused, come back. And yeah, I think that the whole family is kind of realizing that Ellis is, or that Cornelius is just kind of been better to be around. It's, I mean, he's still like got a little bit of an edge to him and he still has an attitude, of course, but he's just been less angry. Like he's not angry right now because every time we come to the Willow Creek Palace, he's always angry. And he's actually not being around his parents. He's not angry right now, you guys. This is great. Oh, this is making me so happy. And Ellis seems to be getting along with the family really well. So right now, okay, so technically it's just like they're friends. I mean, this is really the only friend that Cornelius has ever had. I mean, him and Genevieve used to be closer as kids, but he doesn't really even talk to Genevieve that much anymore. I feel like if anyone were to mention anything to Cornelius, it would be Genevieve. Just saying that I noticed that you've been a lot nicer since you've been hanging around Ellis. I don't know if she would word it like that because I feel like Cornelius would be like, okay, like, why are you telling me this? Like, even though he's not angry, he would still have a little bit of an attitude, but maybe it'll get better. Maybe working on the farm is going to just help things a lot. I don't know why Julia is just standing there, but she needs to sit back down. And then an update on the other characters. So Elena's still been there for Takashi. Juliet and Manuel are adorable. She's kind of helping Manuel through his like, sister drama. He just kind of wants to get away from his sisters sometimes. Like him and Aisha are pretty close, Manuel and Aisha. But even then he's like, I don't want to hear a complaint about my other sisters anymore. I'm tired of this. And Genevieve, I feel like Genevieve has a lot of suitors. I know it's not anyone that we know, any characters that we know, but she's just so poised and so gorgeous. She's kind of like Jane from Pride and Prejudice. She's so pretty and so poised. But yeah, so we'll see more of Ellis and Cornelius. I know we've got a lot of questions like what if Ellis and Cornelius, if they got married, like how, like, would they adopt and would the adopted child be an heir or would they get a surrogate and that kind of stuff. We don't need to worry about that right now. I think we're just going to focus on their relationship and we'll, we will worry about that later when it comes up. But right now it's just kind of like a slow show relationship. But this went well, this went really well. Everyone sat down for dinner. It just looks so cool. I love it. There's so much food. Cornelius helped cook. Like that never, I never would have imagined that would happen. This is just such, oh, I love this so, so much, you guys. I love this. Oh, okay, all right. Anyway, I'm gonna end this here. I just keep gushing because they all just keep sitting there and I'm like, this looks so good. I just wanna stay here, but we should probably go. We have other things to do. So let's go to Save and Manage Worlds. And then we're gonna have our double date with Samaria and Bellatrix and Makana and Kimberly. So that, I'm super excited for that. We are at the Royal Palace of Sulani. The kids do need to go to school. I think Makana and Samaria are just doing their homework before they go to school. So they need to finish that up real quick. And then, so we do have Prince Kaleo here so he is now a child but he's so so cute i do need to still fix his outfit and hair and stuff so once we do that i'll show you guys him afterward actually while they're at school so we'll be doing the double date as soon as they all get back from school and then queen mother Lokolani is still alive although it does say that she will be passing away soon oh so we'll see i don't know we'll see in this episode if she does pass away while we're here but i just wanted to show you real quick because during my stream we also updated some of the other noble households so a few things one so this is a sulani residence this is leah of sulani she is makai and leilana's cousin and then we have lady marjorie who is queen corinne of willow creek's sister so leah is pregnant they had a surrogate so she's pregnant they should be having a baby soon. Oh my gosh. And okay. And then this is their other cousin. This is Leah's brother. So this is also Makai and Leilana's cousin. And he married Lady Nadia, who's from Selva Dorada. She is Jabari and Cayman's. It's their half sister's daughter. So they got married and apparently they had twins. Okay. Well, they had twins. I was just kind of hoping for one baby. And then we also updated some of the households in Brindleton Bay. Oh, and then, okay. I'm sorry. We will focus. You know what? We will focus on Azara in the next episode. We will definitely do that. Well, okay, I also wanted to do like a monarch gathering. I think that would be really cool, but I will also talk about Azara in the next episode for sure. But her baby aged up into a toddler and we renamed her Nephthys and we were either going to nickname her Sissy or Neppy. I think we decided Sissy in my stream, but yeah, she's really cute. She definitely looks like Azara and King Cayman. She's so close to telling King Cayman about the baby. I think she's just one day she's going to show up out of the blue and get past the guard somehow. So that happened. And then in Brindleton Bay too, we also have 
of some more babies that have happened, little toddlers and other stuff. We did move James and Ian, and now James is the Duke of Brindleton Bay, and we ended up just keeping Lord Ian as Lord Ian. But they adopted a dog, and then probably in the stream that we're doing later, we will maybe adopt a cat for them or something. And then we have also had adopted a cat for the Brindleton Bay Royals. It's technically like Molly Grace's own kitten. I just feel like she was begging for a cat or something like that. So those are just some updates that have happened. All right, we just need to wait for them to come back before we can actually have them go on a date, obviously. Can I? I'm gonna make Dean and Leilana. Let's, no, not try for a baby, no, just woohoo. Go ahead and woohoo. The kids are gone. You have three kids. I will talk about a few other things though. So Han, he will be aging up into a young adult very soon. He is a little bit older than Araminta. And then Araminta, Charles, Bellatrix, and Anya, they will all be aging up because we had them age up into teenagers on the same day. So I'm gonna have them age up probably within like a day of each other. And then as soon as Bellatrix becomes a young adult, she's gonna join the military and I can't remember if I mentioned this here or if I mentioned this in a stream but Charles is going to go to university and I know I said that we wouldn't have anyone go to university so I'm not gonna spend time with him at university because I don't want to deal with all the homework and all that stuff also that reminds me too for all of my dynasty fans I'm sorry I haven't come out with a dynasty episode recently I'll probably be trying to end the dynasty series soon I'm not gonna lie it's because I don't watch dynasty anymore so that's why I lost my motivation for it oh my gosh are you guys? Okay, they're done. But their her mother just walked in. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, so Charles will be going to university because I feel like, so all the royals, I just feel like they all get their education from home. They have like special tutors and get tutored from home and all this stuff. I do feel like, because Charles is really into academics, so I feel like he wants to go to university. He wants a chance to have like a normal experience just after the whole thing with Araminta. I think he needs a chance to get away from his royal life for a little bit. But yeah, those are just some updates on what's happening or what will be happening. But okay, so the kids are now back at school. Samaria, uh, oh, they're, okay. Samaria's tense and Makana is angry. Yeah, they need to go see their girlfriends because this is just, they're very stressed apparently. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have them go somewhere pretty cash. Well, no, do we want them to go to the restaurant? Let's go to the restaurant. It's called the Island Restaurant. Oh, I just forgot about this. Makana has had a crush on Bellatrix for a really long, like he used to. He used to have a crush on her when they were kids and they were friends. But now he just sees her as a friend. But I was like, oh, will this be awkward? But maybe not. I just think that he's gotten over Bellatrix. Another thing that might be awkward that I would kind of think is awkward if I were her, but just that Kimberly had hooked up with Bellatrix's twin brother, Charles. But I feel like Kimberly is so laid back. She's just like, it's whatever. Like she doesn't care. Bellatrix is just really chill. And so is Kimberly. So I feel like they get along really well. Okay, so they all, oh, they all dressed up in like their beach wear. I have like a beach outfit for Bellatrix and for Kimberly that I just feel like they usually wear when they come to Sulon. Oh, okay, they just changed into the- Wait, everyone's changing into their bathing suits now. I was gonna say this is like a nice casual thing. Also, Arya is riding a bike. You're not supposed to be out. Arya, you're supposed to be grounded and not here. And also, why is Aisha here? Go home. Go, go, go home. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, this is actually, is this, this is Queen Lindsay, isn't it? She's still alive, you guys. She is still alive. Okay, so they have all this little table here. Wait, Samaria, you have to sit here next to Bellatrix. Oh my God, you guys, this is, stop. This is so cute. This is a little double date. Kimberly, what are you, why are you, what's going on with you? Oh, I think she was still a little bit stressed of like what was going on at home. Let's do order for table. So we'll just order for everybody. This is such a cute little date. Okay, let's get them all some drinks. All right, so they're about to order their drinks and their food. They're all just talking here now. Oh my God, this is so romantic, stop. Look, with the sunset and everything, you guys, this is an adorable double date. So when Bellatrix does go into the military, yeah, I I'll just fill you guys on this now because I guess it'll be happening in a few episodes. So I'll just keep you guys updated. But Samaria and Bellatrix, so Bellatrix, she's going to be going to the military. I think that she's going to first be stationed at Strangerville. And since Samaria will be a teenager still, I feel like Strangerville is going to be like further than any other world. So I do feel like Bellatrix and Samaria are going to be doing long distance for that. But then maybe by the time Samaria ages up into a young adult, Bellatrix will be back. But they all get along. This is such a nice group. I mean, Bellatrix and Kimberly, I feel like they have very similar personalities. Bellatrix is a lot more sassier and a little bit, has like a little bit more of a guard, but they're just both very laid back and very confident. It looks like they're having a great conversation. I think after this, they'll go on a little swim and stuff. But yeah, this is their date. I'm going to end this episode here. But if you enjoy this, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know if you think if a 
Samira and Jabari are going to be having a boy or girl. I'm so excited to see what they have. And then let me know what you guys think of Cornelius and Ellis and the Willow Creek family. And then let me know what you guys think of just these adorable couples. They're all so cute. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.